so welcome back everyone welcome back to the channel and today we are going to review the west zone of the afc champions league uh, of course here the favorites were the saudi clubs and uh, after their big transfer market in the summer with the arrival of cristiano ronaldo to al nasser last winter so yeah and uh, they are playing well they are playing well but the only team with uh, that is full in points is Al Nasser that is a 12 uh, for the rest they had some issues and uh, um, we don't have as many surprises as in the east zone but definitely some surprising results happened some surprising situations are uh, in place right now and uh, I'm gonna talk about the final uh, the, the last surprise of this east zone is the one uh, happened in Iraq they were playing in Erbil Al Ittihad club against the Iraqi Air Force club and is the Air Force club that wins in their uh, home not home stadium if I'm not wrong but in their homeland uh, they beat the Ittihad club they are at seven points now and with Sepahan uh, they are in the fight for uh, for win this group to win this group and perhaps to be one of the best second um, the team that now is the best second is the first team that gave uh, a big surprise in this group stage and is Navahor Namangan that with their draw with against Al Hilal in their first game um, basically surprised everyone I was expecting Nasaji Mazandaran to be uh, the second uh, best team this group, but yeah, they proved me Danvahor, Navahor proved me proved me wrong, and now they are tied in points with Al Hilal. I think they might go uh, forwards as best second, also with ten points, but perhaps one one two points. Uh, is what they need to be sure, 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 hundred percent sure to go forward in the competition. A team that I'm expecting to go forward in the competition is Persepolis now, now is at seven points uh, in the Al Nasser group. I think they have a good possibility, a good chance to do it. Al Duhail, they were uh, really underwhelming in this group stage, like Al Saad. Al Saad, honestly, with Al, Al Duhail are two teams that I was expecting them to do better, to be better, to be in fight to win their group. But no, not the moment. They're, these Qatari clubs are not performing well this year. Um, a team that I was expecting to perform better and it isn't is Pachtakor, uh, the team from uh, Tashkent. They had a nightmare start, now they're improving a little bit. But the first place uh, of Alain is not doable. Now they have to win the last two games to perhaps have a little chance to be a best second, but the situation is not looking good because they are at four points. You have FC Nasaf in the, in this group with seven, uh, Sepahan with seven. We have already talked about Navajo at 10 and Persepolis at seven. So it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, they have to win the last two games and hope to uh, have other good results, but Look at this, it's not, it's not going to be easy for Pachtakor. And yeah, I mean, Alain with Al Nasser are the only, I think, two teams. Are they? The only two teams? No, there, there is a team in the West zone that now, uh, the, the East zone that I don't remember now, that is at 12 points. Perhaps the Pohang Steelers now, I don't remember really, but um, yeah, 12 points. You are good. You are in a good uh, way to go. I don't know why I have the Japanese National Stadium actually here. Uh, it's not even the the stadium for the final. Uh, it can be. It can be uh, if uh, if Ventforet Kofu in the East Zone go all the way to the final. The the only second tier team in this AFC Champions League. If they go all the way to the final, one one game of the final uh, is gonna be played in the, in the Japanese National Stadium in Tokyo. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, we can talk a lot about teams that could have performed better, like Mumbai City, like again Serge Muzan. Daran, 
uh, uh, I mean, Al Fayha, yes, they are a Saudi team, but they are not one of those uh, uh, Saudi teams that are not owned by the Saudi government. So they not have, they don't have these big names. So they're actually a step below below Etihad, Al Hilal, Al Nasser, um, Al Faisal, Ali of Amman. They are at zero point, like Jimmy K and. Uh, Mumbai City, but I mean, um, Al Faisali and uh, OK, 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 I mean, we were expecting that a little bit, not perhaps from OK, OK, but from Al Faisali, yes. Anyways, and uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon. Thank you very much.